Now, what do you have in your sleeping bag with you? I have my coat in case I get cold. And I have my black headband in case my ears get cold. And it's supposed to go down to a brisk 54 degrees tonight. I don't want to be cold. I like being warm and snuggled. 54 degrees. But in case. Morning. Good morning. It's day five. Uh, we just left Jenkins Shelter. Got an early start. Our goal is to try to get the Bushy Knob Outfitters or Supply or something like that to get some normal food. We'll see. Got 11 miles to get there, and then the campsite we're staying at is a mile and a half past that. But we got to get there by three o'clock. It is hot and muggy out. We. I took my rain jacket off. Yeah, we're only a half a mile in. We had to stop so Tracy could take off her rain jacket. It's supposed to be gorgeous out today, about 70 and sunny. Um, yeah, so it's kind of muggy out. So, Trace, you need to add anything? Nope, just happy to be out on the trail. Yep, all right, guys, we'll see you on up the trail. So we just took a break at that beautiful river, camelled up a little bit more. There's no water for another seven miles, and actually the water is our cache that we supplied at Brushy Mountain Outpost. Um, we got about 1,600 feet of elevation gain over the next seven miles to get to Brushy Mountain. It is 10.30. We're about three quarters of a mile, three quarters of a mile into it. Um, this first climb is the biggest though, 700 feet over two miles, and it's really not bad. Got nice switchbacks. It is a warm day out though. It is warm and muggy. Such a contrast from three days ago when there was snow on the ground. So let's we'll see you guys on up at the top here.
I just sat down to take a break. We got uh, nine miles in and it's noon. Um, but this is, this is really cool. Let me show you this here. <laughs> this is really awesome. This, that whole valley going down in through there. Late lunch, early dinner at Brushy Mountain Outpost. Uh, Tracy had a bacon cheeseburger. I had two hamburgers. We had fries, everything. Plus, I packed out two bags of M&Ms for the camp. We were coming into a stretch that does not have much water, so we actually left the cache here. I cameled up, and I'm carrying one, two, three, four and a half liters on me um, to get to this shelter, and then that will get us to the next cache that we placed, I think, nine miles from here. So. We only have about two miles to the shelter or two where we're gonna camp at tonight and then call it a day. Um, where I'm at right now, that is Route 77. Um, so this is where you cross over 77. I was always wondering where that happened at. So we'll see you guys on up at the, at the campsite. How's that climb treating you? Very, very difficult. 500 feet in half a mile. We're not done yet. Show that way. You still, still have more. Got more to go up. Still more. Map says campsite's right there. Oh no. miles today and crushed it. We were done by what time? Well, we made it before five o'clock. Yeah, it was like 4.30. And 4 we stopped at a restaurant and ate for an hour. Yeah, Bushy, uh, brushy, brushy Mountain, Bushy Cheeseburgers, something, whatever that place was. So yeah, we're tired. Um, it's seven o'clock. Yeah, and um, the last climb we had was 500, 700? 600 feet up in like a half, half a, a mile. mile. Jesus, that was relentless. It was a crazy indoor day, but... So, um, we're going to check out, see what we're doing tomorrow. We know we have a nine-mile day tomorrow. We're going to see if we can make it a little bit longer, if there's a stealth camp further, just to make the next day a little bit shorter. So It's warm, beautiful out. Yeah. We're sleeping with... Uh, with only one flap open, so yeah. it's supposed to be only 54 degrees out tonight. It's going to be awesome. Good sleeping weather, so... See you on the trail. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.